One of the most popular holiday destinations for French people is the campsite. Agilès-sur-Mer, in the Eastern Pyrenees, is the town with the largest amount of camping accommodation in Europe. In the summer, this western corner of the Mediterranean sees the number of inhabitants increase tenfold. This is where Jérôme Pérez was born. His grandparents founded the campsite, and his mother took over from them. Hello. It's now his turn at the helm. I go around picking things like this up. You can't leave beer bottles in the kids' playground. You have eyes everywhere. I try. He became the manager 10 years ago. I'll be right there. And he goes over his 10 hectares with a fine-tooth comb. This is our home, our land, our history. We were born here, we've always lived here, so it's 100% part of our lives. An appointed manager would never invest the same love and effort into it. That's for sure. This season is a bit special for Jérôme, because for the last few months, he's been working with a new co-manager, his big brother. Franck was an investment banker in Paris, and he doesn't regret his decision. Have a great stay. Working here is a very emotional experience. The trees you see all around us were planted by my grandparents. I grew up here. My mum did too. And now when I see my kids taking an afternoon nap in a mobile home next door, it warms my heart. During the summer season, the two brothers rely on 20 employees to keep the campsite going. Are these the famous shirts? The yellow shirts, yes. Today, the entertainment team are choosing the costumes for the campsite show. The hard thing about this is there are so many different sizes. They range from the shrimp to the big fat lobster. And we have to dress everyone. Fred is a professional artist. He used to run a cabaret, but he now performs at the campsite. Could you put on a show without costumes? Sure, in a nudist colony. <laughs> costumes, guys! The show is tomorrow. For the campers, it will be the highlight of their week on the site. Argelès, with its 53 campsites, has seen thousands of shows. It was in the 1930s that tents began to invade the Pineda, the beach and the surrounding fields. One farmer, a certain Monsieur Buix, realized that he could earn some money from it by charging a pitching fee. And so it was in 1953, the first private campsite in Angeles saw the day. The following decades marked the golden age of camping. It was at that time that Franck and Jérôme Perez's campsite was born. In 1964, their wine-growing grandparents decided to rip out the vines and plant pine trees to provide shade for campers. In 1979, their mother, Anne-Marie, took over. She installed the first mobile homes, generating loyal customers whom she's met every year for the past 25 years with the same pleasure. It's one of the most touching things in the camping business. Because you see how fond all these people become of their holiday destination. It's convivial here. It's not a factory like it is on some campsites. It's family-based, exactly. Tonight, the Perez clan is gathering together for dinner, a chance to bring out the old photos and share some laughs over old times. <laughs> if you can find your grandma, I'll buy you a scooter. <laughs> Go on, then. There. No, I know it takes some imagination, but she's there. Three generations have made the campsite a success but is the future assured? We're proud to try and pass on the baton to the fourth generation. But there's a long way to go. It doesn't look like they're ready to be business partners just yet. Arthur, Gabriel, Gabriel. For the entertainers, it's the big night. 
the first holiday makers of the season are here. Hello, Taxi Backstage, Fred has butterflies. The timing's right. Just one song to get changed, but we'll manage. It's a question of teamwork to be ready. Yeah, we pull together, but in this case, he's pulling my laces. Superb, really superb. We've never seen such a great show, and we've been to a lot of campsites. It's great, a very enjoyable moment, and we're very happy. It's our first time here. A successful evening and a good test for the campsite owners. Excellent. For a beginning of season show, it's really good. Without the music and the atmosphere, the campsite would be dead and people would get bored. So this helps to set the overall mood of the site. Everyone on your feet, on your feet, everyone. Lovely. French people and the campsite, a long-lasting love story. Every year, more than six million of them choose this kind of convivial holiday.